It's Arlen here with Load King. 2022 marks the sixth anniversary of the JP Rail offering in our renowned series trailer. The trailer started with just a few being built six years ago, and it's become one of our best selling trailers on the road today. The intent was to offer a lighter weight trailer with less paint and corrosion issues. So the entire trailer was changed to add the JP rail to the side of the trailer. The tubing side rail is still a three by four inch tube that we use with aluminum cross members as opposed to steel. In addition to having less issues with corrosion, we were able to shed over a thousand pounds from the steel version of the trailer, allowing you to carry more payload on the trailer as well. This rail is compatible with some of the tarping rail systems that are being offered. You should speak to your individual sales rep as to what tarp offerings would be available to fit this trailer as well. As I mentioned, the uh, JP rail is a extruded piece of aluminum that runs the entire length of the trailer. So you do have the option of two different stake pocket uh, dimensions, either a 24 inch or 48 inch stake pocket configuration. The unit we're looking at today has a 48 inch stake pocket, which you need if you're gonna put the optional tie down the chain pullouts, which this trailer has as well. The standard is a 16 inch cross member spacing. We do offer a 12 inch cross member spacing on this trailer and that's what we're featuring on the trailer today. Again, it's depending on the, uh, the load demands of the trailer, you can choose either 12 or 16 inch cross member spacing. Something important to note, all of our cargo securement, winches, J hooks, the chain tie downs or chain pullouts are all rated for 5,000 pounds. Uh, should you have any question on any of those, we, we put a decal in front of the trailer telling you what the load rating for all of our tie down points is as well. Along on the beam of the trailer, we also do give you a load configuration guide as to how many pounds you can have on a four foot concentrated load, 10 foot or 20 foot or overall load capacity as well. So the beam rating is listed on each of the traders as well. Three different flooring options available on these traders. Uh, today, the trader we're looking at has a uh, fur floor option. You do have the option of a hardwood flooring option as well as an all aluminum floor. So moving back, we'll just have a look here. The, the unique feature about this trader, all the winches, J hooks are all bolted on. So there's no welding. If you, if you need to replace a broken winch, there's no uh, winch or J hook to cut off. Everything is bolt on, bolt off along the entire side rail. So again, I mentioned the uh, JP rail. This little section here is where the cross member will come in and we'll show you what that looks like when we look underneath the trailer, but the, the cross member is, is fastened into this portion of the extrusion as well fastened, bolted, and also welded to the face of the uh, rail itself to give you a very rigid, uh, robust design. The winch configuration on this particular trailer is set at 24 inches. So every second cross member, there is a winch fastened. And the, the nice part about this trailer and the JP rail design, you can fasten the winch anywhere along this side rail. You do not need a cross member to be fastened to it. As mentioned, we also have the chain pullouts that are spaced every two uh, or 24 inches between the stake pockets spaced at 48 inches. Also fastened as an option on the side rail are these weld on tarp hooks. So if, if there's a, a, a load that requires tarping, the tarp hooks are fastened to the uh, P section of the, of the side rail. So moving along to the back of the trailer, I, I mentioned the uh, lower profile neck. Uh, we have an eight, in, eight and a half inch neck in this trailer. Um, again, different uh, kingpin placements as per uh, the requirements of the individual needs of the, the end user. As we move back to the trailer, you'll notice another optional feature that we offer would be the, the pullout lighting that's equipped on this trailer as well. Uh, there's a light on either side, both front and back of each trailer, giving you lots of visibility hauling that wider load. So below the pullout lights, you'll see the customer has chosen to give his trailer as much protection as possible. We have the full four in a row flap option that goes directly in front of the landing gear, protecting the entire length of the trailer. A standard feature is the Holland Mark V landing gear that we offer on this trailer. Directly behind the landing gear is the optional chain hangers and you, you have the option of placing them on either side of the trailer. 
but it gives you a place to hang those chains when, when not in use and not using up uh, valuable space in your toolboxes. Something else we, we mentioned as we're moving along the back, the lighting. All of the lighting is in the center of the JP rail. We use a Model 33 truck light light that's mounted between the indentation of the JP rail to protect it should uh, a forklift contact. The light will, will remain protected and not break on contact. In the middle of the uh, trailer, obviously we have to have the mid-turn light, so it's a little different configuration. And the reason there's two lights here, there could come a time and there's a strap directly covering this light. We do have a secondary light, which acts as a clearance and a mid-turn light as well. The toolboxes that you see in this trailer today are an optional feature. They come in uh, two different sizes. You can get a 48 inch box or a 60 inch box with different finish options. This particular unit has the stainless door option installed on this trailer. It's a cam lock door with, with a stainless cam so you don't have anything rusting. It, it's a well supported box, great seal around the outside to keep that moisture out and also braced. If you look at the bracing of the box, it it's acts as a knee brace in the trailer as well. So front and back will be a knee brace style mount for the box as well to keep it secure as well as securing the load of the trailer. We'll just continue on further to the back. Uh, directly behind the toolbox, we have a cross mount dunnage box. So if you've got any lumber that you want to store, there is a dunnage rack mounted in the uh, frame of the trailer. There is an optional box that you can slip into this area if you want to have your dunnage enclosed. You, you can put a large cross mount toolbox in there as well. The, uh, the air gauge box, the, there is the option of having a lit box as we see here today. There's also an air chuck that's available in this toolbox, which the uh, customer has chosen as an option as well. Directly behind the cross mount dunnage box, we also have another set of flaps with anti sill brackets on it to protect uh, the spray from the wheels and tires. And in between the frame of the trailer, you will also see there's a uh, optional brake pot belting been installed on this trailer as well. Another change we, we made in the trailer from the initial design was the way we mounted the fenders. The original design had the round tube style mount of the fender. We've cleaned that mount up with a stainless steel mount that mounts to a post on the main rail of the trailer. It's a little cleaner, uh, sheds rocks a little nicer and just has a nicer finish and appearance. And something as we move towards the next fender, you'll notice the close up be between the two fenders, we put in an angled uh, aluminum trough. And what that does is it allows to uh, shed any debris, snow, rocks that won't stay sitting between the two fenders. So all the debris will shed from the fender itself. At the wheels of the trailer, I'd like to mention there are several different options that we do offer for suspensions. We use a Hendrickson Intrax 23K suspension as our standard suspension. We have two different wheel end options, a parallel spindle as well as an end spindle option for each trailer. You do have the option of a oil filled wheel end or a semi fluid grease. Both of those are options that are offered through Load King. They carry uh, different warranties. The oil filled wheel end carries a one year Load King warranty and the semi-fluid grease has a two-year Load King warranty on it as well. This trailer also comes with the uh, Tire Max Pro inflate deflate inflation system that you'll see here. The advantage to those systems is all of your tires are preset to a preset tire pressure and will maintain that tire pressure uh, as you're traveling down the road. The deflate option allows the tire to deflate as it heats up and, and becomes overinflated, it will dump that excess air to keep that tire at a, at a constant air pressure. There's two different wheel and tire sizes that we do offer. It's a 22.5 wheel or a 24.5 inch wheel as well. This particular unit and most commonly used is the 11R 22.5 option that you see in the trailer today. Coming between the bridge of the trailer, you'll see this, the space between the trailer. The half round fender option also gives you a much easier access point. We have a staircase running up in between the, the two trailers, allowing you easy access to your air and electrical connections that are in between the two trailers. You'll also notice in the back and the front of each bolster here, we do have the tarp hooks fastened as well. Another option that has been added to this trailer. We've eliminated the uh, curly airlines 
and woven all the lines together to give you a safer working area between the decks of the two trailers. On the pull trailer, you'll notice there's a few options that, uh, that have been installed in this trailer. Uh, the, the large hooks you see on the deck of the trailer, again, are used uh, should the customer want to load this trailer onto the lead trailer when they're in empty transport mode uh, moving from job to job. So they can basically, the forklift can pick up this trailer, put it on the deck of the other one, saving the mileage on the uh, pull trailer as well. Very common option in some of our uh, lumber applications where the customer has chosen to do that. On the box of the pull trailer, we also have a switch to turn on the strobe lights that are located in the back of the trailer as well. We'll show you what they look like. Uh, again, that's an optional feature. Near the back of the pull trailer, we've also added a set of hooks for, uh, for mounting or if the customer chooses to haul some pallets back, there's an extra set of winches on the back bolster of the trailer and also hooks to fasten the, uh, the, the straps to fasten the rear load on the trailer. There's a lot of full belt options that are offered on this trailer and this particular unit has every mud flap offered on this trailer to protect it as best as possible. At the back of the pull trailer you'll notice the uh, the extra two inches I mentioned. Uh, they are used for the hooks that we have in the back of the uh, pull trailer. Uh, another option that the customer has selected that is available is the stainless steel ring to cover the uh, the rear lights as well. The back of the trailer, to add some extra dunnage space, there is a dunnage rack that's built into the rear bolster of the trailer. It's got a nice little gate that opens up and it's, it allows for eight foot dunnage to be placed into the back of the trailer as well. It's an open grid design, so it allows any, uh, any gravel or material to fall through and not build up inside the box. Below the box, you'll also notice that there is a uh, a tow plate as an option and this individual customer has chosen to add the tow plate as well as a seven wire optional seven wire plug at the back of the trailer. The strobe lights we mentioned the uh, the switch in the box of the pull trailer the strobe lights are mounted in the rear bolster as well and can be turned off when not required. Something at the back of the trailer that is an option you know on the rear bumper you do have the option of adding a bolt-on bumper option on the trailer as well it's it's really a personal preference but it is available as an option i'd like to thank you for uh, joining us on our walk around of the renowned jp rail b train trailer that we were talking about today should you need more information on our trailer please visit our website or contact a dealer nearest you for more information and pricing thank you again